Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam. And today we're going to be looking at one of the most requested mallet series on the show. It is the Nebojsa Jovan Zivkovic series from Innovative Percussion. Of course, I'd like to acknowledge my studio VIPs, Carl Spence, Luke Uemura, and Christopher Allen. Welcome to the VIP team, Chris. It's good to have you on board. And today's featured studio artist is Andrew Wilcock. Thank you so much for your support, Andrew. And if you'd like to support the show and become a studio artist or studio VIP, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan, or you can click over here. Everyone has been asking me to do more IP mallets, and of course, the Zivkoviches are one of the most popular marimba mallets on the market right now. They're very popular over here in Perth. Everyone seems to be using them, so I had to cover them. But as you guys know, I broke my pair of Zivkoviches. And um, it basically sucks. I literally snapped one of my Cedar Zivkoviches right here, and it went poo, and then I have no more Zivkovic. So if you don't know who Zivkovic is, he is from Serbia, but he is based in Germany, and he is one of the world's most acclaimed composers and percussionists. He's a beast of a performer. He has written many influential pieces, including Suminado, Iliash, Ultimatum One. He's written a lot of books, like I'm sure a lot of you guys have come across funny mallets. Heaps of performances and literature have been contributed by Zivkovic, and he's a major player in the percussion world today. Now, of course, if you haven't heard that much about Zivkovic himself, you probably will have heard of his mallets because they're made by Innovative Percussion, which is one of the world's largest mallet manufacturers. I mean, they also make marching gear, they make all kinds of stuff. And you might have noticed on this show, I haven't really featured Innovative Percussion stuff yet because they don't send me anything. But Innovative Percussion, if you're watching, you know where to find me. <laughs> and I guess it's a really good time to put in the full disclosure, which is that IP did not send me these mallets. They're my friend Jackson's mallets, and he's been very kind to lend them for me for the show, just like he did with the Trevino, so I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jackson. So the Nemoisha Jovan Zivkovic series, or the NJZ series from Innovative Percussion, has eight hardnesses. Eight hardnesses and two shaft options. He has seven normal hardnesses, ranging from the softest to the hardest. One is the softest, seven is the hardest. And it also has a multi-tone mallet called MT, that is the eighth mallet. So here we have the NJZ2 in rattan. This is a medium soft, and they call the color Ocean Deep Blue. And then we have the NJZ4, and as you know, 4 in marimba tradition is always the general medium mallet, and it's no exception here. It's a medium, it's in a dark blue color, which they call, what's it called? Okay, this one is just called blue. I'm blue and then we have the NJZ5. This one is in cedar because Jackson and I bought these at the same time, and we wanted to have matching mallets. That was two years ago before I snapped mine. I know you know that feeling. I feel that feeling all the time. But this is the NJZ5. It's considered a medium hard. They always call it general hard. But yeah, medium hard, general hard, same thing. We have the NJZ6 in rattan, which is a gray color. They call it silver. And this is the hard mallet. So this is pretty hard. I wouldn't say it's like bullet hard, but it's pretty hard. And finally, we have the best looking colorway in my opinion, which is this white mallet. And this white one is the MTs, which is the multi-tone. And they call this color sky white. To the sky. So a very expansive set of hardnesses that you can use for pretty much any situation. It's a good lineup of mallets and I think you won't be disappointed for choice. Now the shafts come in either cedar or rattan. Now cedar is basically their alternative for birch. It's pretty stiff and the rattan is obviously just your everyday rattan. They call this oversized cedar. I don't know why. It doesn't seem like it's all that big. But okay, we'll talk more about the shafts later, but yeah, it's kind of interesting that they don't have just a birch, it's cedar. Ooh. Now in terms of price, just like most innovative percussion artist series mallets, they're right in the middle of what I would say is a general average of mallet prices. So if you get these mallets in cedar shafts, they will be $43.25. 
And if you get them in the more popular option of rattan, they are $45.75. So we're talking below the US $50 mark, and that's sort of where all the mid-range mallets sit, like your Ludwig Alberts, your Casey Cangelosis, all the innovative stuff, most of the Malatex stuff. So it's a really good place in the market for people looking for a step up from their budget mallets. Now in terms of build quality, Innovative Percussion is known for making really decent quality mallets because they're a huge company. Now this is the head of the two-tone mallet, and as you can see, all of the heads of the Zivkovich series have this sort of round design of two red lines on them, which is a very basic sort of marimba mallet design. Nothing fancy, nothing special. There's no dual yarn wrapping, it's synthetic yarn, it's a rubber core. So it's basically as standard a marimba mallet as you can get. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's actually built really, really well. It also passes the studio squeeze test, which is interesting because a lot of you guys have been saying, oh, Adam, if it's a two-tone mallet, you know, and it squeezes a little bit because it's loose, that's not a bad thing. And I agree, it's not necessarily a bad thing but this is also a multi-tone mallet and it's not squeezing so I don't know <laughs> but all that aside it's a pretty robust head very traditional very simple and sometimes that's exactly what you need in terms of the shaft well this is the rattan shaft now these mallets are practically brand new so the rattan doesn't have much flex but it doesn't feel like it's a very flexible rattan there are some rattan mallets that I have that flex way too much and this is not one of them it's Pretty nice. The text is not engraved, it's just printed on and as a result it can scratch off pretty easily. But that's not really a big deal, I mean text is text. And I like that they've put his signature there, that's a really nice touch to make it really feel like an artist's signature series. Now here's one of my first problems with this mallet. The bottom of this rattan shaft, I don't know if you can hear that, it's not smooth. It's actually quite rough and this is sort of what causes a lot of those calluses in the middle of your hand because of these rough bottom ends. So this is not an example of smooth ends make friends, which is slightly disappointing, but again it's a rattan shaft so some people may not even care about this. But the cedar shafts on the other hand are a little bit smoother so I can forgive them because this one is an example of smooth ends make friends. I know a few of you guys have asked me what's the difference between cedar and birch and the main difference I could tell is that this is a lot lighter in colour and there's a lot more grains in it. It does sometimes feel like this is more prone to breaking than birch. It's also not as stiff in my opinion. I feel like it wobbles a little bit more which is actually kind of cool but other than that it's pretty solid. I know that I broke this but that was only because I was playing it really silly so you know that feeling. So overall you get a pretty decent build quality across the board. The only thing is that the rattan shafts are a little bit rough at the bottom but if you sand that off with some sandpaper or something I'm sure it's fine. So most people won't even care because I know a lot of people who play rattan shafts also play in cross grip and when you play cross grip this thing isn't really a problem anyway so it's really up to you. Now what about ergonomics? These mallets are are heavy but not that heavy. I kind of exaggerated the heaviness when I used to talk about these mallets two years ago because back then I hadn't really tried many mallets and I haven't touched Zivkovich's for almost two years now and this is the first time I've come back into contact with them and I have to say they're more of like a medium heavy than like a heavy heavy so if I was to compare this to something like the Katarzyna Mishka series from Marimba 1 or the Ivana Village series from Marimba 1 those mallets are way heavier than this because they feel like they have weights in them I don't think these have weights in them, but it's definitely not a 50-50 mallet. It's not like a Van Size or anything like that. And that can be attributed to the fact that the heads are definitely a lot bigger. But yeah, this might be the first time where a mallet has made me feel like getting rattan mallets. <laughs> I actually really like these shafts and the feel on the hand. It's just a really nice, comfortable mallet. And now I think it's a really good time to move on to the sound test. And I've tested these mallets with the usual sound test, the C major chord thing. And also a variation on a very, 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 very popular marimba tune. I'm sure all of you guys will recognize it when you see it. This is the sound test.
So what do you think? Do you think the Zivkovichs sound good? Do you think they sound too harsh? Do you think they sound too soft? Do you think they sound perfect? Would you buy them? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear your thoughts on these mallets. Also, let me know if you liked my rain dance variations. Again, I kind of just made that up on the spot because I played rain dance in high school and I still remember changing the chords all the time because I didn't like playing D, 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 D the whole time. So let me know what you think. But anyway, I really like the sound of the Zivkoviches. They aren't too harsh, despite the fact they're a big headed mallet. They get a lot of power. They are a really good balance between your small headed mallets and your really big tanky mallets. These are like your little tanks. I think on these mallets, you get a very, very, very slight contact sound on the harder mallets, but it's nothing noticeable. And it's actually not a bad contact sound either. It's not like that really annoying yarn cheap contact sound. But I think my personal favorite mallet and the mallet that receives the studio seal of approval is the Innovative Percussion NJZ MTR. You know that feeling. I know you know that feeling. The reason why this receives the seal of approval is because it's a two-tone mallet, but at a very affordable price, and it doesn't feel out of place when you put this with the rest of the mallets in a graduated setup. I wouldn't go as far as to say that these are budget wave wraps, but they're pretty close. For the price, they're very affordable. You could buy the entire set for around 300 bucks. I personally wouldn't buy the whole set. I'd probably just start with some of the core ones, like the mediums and the two-tones, but very versatile mallets, very well built. Zivkovich is a great guy, recommended. As always, if you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And leave a comment below with what you think of the Zivkoviches, or if you have any suggestions of what you want to see on the show. A lot of you guys suggested the Zivkoviches, so I went out of my way to get them for you guys because this show is about helping you, and it's a show that I always want to keep fresh. So I'm always trying to find different things to show you guys. And of course, please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. We are getting closer and closer and closer to 3,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. We hit 4,000 subscribers on my vlog channel the other day. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for watching this show. And if you haven't already heard, I am going to the Malaysia Percussion Festival in Kuala Lumpur in June. If any of you guys are gonna be there, I know some of you guys are from Malaysia, then let me know in the comments below. I'll be entering a competition over there as well as playing in the ensemble. So hopefully I don't do a bad job. Okay. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. <laughs>